Uh, now I'm the CTO of Wearality Corporation, and we're actually, what we're doing is taking the technologies we developed at Lockheed and taking them to consumer and commercial spaces. I don't have any slow slides because we found out pretty early that showing slides of what we do is really hard. You have to see it. And in this case, you can. Uh, our booth is uh, X3 uh, down in the main uh, exhibition uh, space. So when I talk about those, what we do. Uh, we basically have the widest field of view lenses in the world, but they're very special. First of all, uh, they're in focus everywhere, everywhere you look. They work with a phone, in this case, but they'll work with any, obviously, any kind of display. Uh, in this case, I have a little demo here. It's hard for you to see it, but one of the neat things about our device is it fits in your pocket. As you can see, the lenses are very different from what you've seen before. Uh, they actually are curved, curved for two reasons. One, it gives you that extraordinarily wide field of view. It gives you a field of view that's in focus everywhere and also has the largest exit pupil, and most of you guys should know what that is, uh, of any other device. And the, the, the reason that's important is if you have a narrow exit pupil, just like with your binoculars, you have to move the eye image uh, left and right or up and down or in and out. You don't have to do that with this. Also, you can wear it with glasses. Uh, really key thing. So this particular device was designed to work with a phone. So you literally pick it up and you snap it in. It's, we're cardboard centric. Uh, you're now ready to go. That simple. This also actually clips to a hat so you can actually be hands free. And like I said, you have to see it. This is the widest field of view on the floor by far. Uh, it's a very, very, very different experience. Uh, to give you an idea, this is the small one. Let me show you what the bigger ones look like. This is the actual lenses that we start with. These are, um, it's a double lens on each side. It's a double convergence, so basically you can see that. And they have to be set up in just the right way. But the, the curvature I mentioned is two things. One is obviously getting that field of view and focus everywhere. The other thing is it's designed to wrap around your eye. This guy will give you a full 180 for each eye which is a completely different experience. Why do we do that? At Lockheed, we're, we build flight simulators, uh, very, very high-end flight simulators. To be able to do that uh, and be able to do that with a head mount requires that we have to at least do everything existing flight simulators do. In other words, the field of view has to be the same. The, the clarity has to be the same, and we're doing that. We're actually building high-end flight simulators uh, they're going to be replacing the three and a half million dollar domes with these lenses. You can see that over the next few years. Those, those domes, uh, you know, it's essential we, we, we do that primarily because they are too big to fit on the carriers. But what we're doing, we literally took that same technology and we applied it to a smaller device. Something that fits in your pocket, like I said, it literally folded up it's the same size as your phone. And the price is going to be way under $100. We don't know yet. 60 70 is kind of what we're thinking. But basically, there's no reason you guys couldn't be able to get this and start using it. We think that this is a game changer. In fact, we know this is. Um, that's it. Questions? Yes? Uh, the question was, do, we, do you need to download an app? We're cardboard-centric right now with, the, with this platform. We just support every cardboard application that exists, including ours. We actually uh, we, we own Frag, if you've tried those. Uh, uh, the virtual roller coaster that I had running on here, um, we got a lot of little apps that we've built. Uh, but basically, um, any cardboard, so you develop cardboard, it's really quick, it's really easy. Use Unity, use the cardboard APIs, and it will just work. Uh, we've got the QR codes ready to go. Uh, by the way, we had our Kickstarter. It was very successful uh, in April. Uh, we're going to be doing our first shipments next week. So people will be getting these very, very soon. We're pretty excited about that, being able to turn around that quickly. Uh, any other questions? Yes? Yeah. What's nice about this is, first of all, there's minimal chromatic aberration. The lenses are really, really thin. Uh, and, and so what you'll see, uh, most applications don't see it at all. And if you do have that problem, it's a pretty easy fix, just standard software. So you can do that. 
Uh, but you probably won't notice it unless you're doing, uh, typically what we see is white on black is a problem. Black and white's almost never a problem. Uh, so it really just depends on kind of what your background, but for, we actually have a fraction, a tiny fraction of anybody else's. And like I said, it's in focus everywhere, which is a really weird thing. If you look at almost any other traditional lens, you'll see the focus fall off pretty quickly. Others? Yes? Uh, gee, I don't know. Uh, being in focus everywhere is better than not, obviously. Uh, and certainly field of view, we sort of have that anyway. We're, that's kind of the world we live in. It's a really beautifully collimated light field. Uh, so basically it matches pretty close to what you're looking at with me right now, which is the other thing. It's a, this is an open design, so people tend not to get sick uh, with this. They ba basically, the, the, the peripheral optical flow matches what you see in the center. And that's a very, very comfortable experience. Mark Bolas is one of our advisors. I've been working with him for years. And that was actually one of his experiences. Having open designs like this really, really helps. Uh, think about it this way. Put your arm, hands like this and try to walk through a doorway sometime. It's a really, it's uncomfortable. It's basically binoculars into the virtual world. Uh, we don't need to work that way. I think on the one hand, we're going to get much wider. On the other side, you know, kind of have that virtual real world. The, the real world over here matching with the virtual is very a much more comfortable experience. I'm going to have to a couple questions now, but I think we're going to have time actually to bring all of the smart glass right. presenters up at the end, and then we can ask questions. But just to Thank you. get through the presentations, we'll move on to the next one. So X3, come see us. Like I said, you can't, you can't tell from a video what it's really like. Thanks. Thanks.